nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, so I have just vacuum cleaned the table, cleaned all the balls, and now I just have one final thing to do. It is by using a wet paper towel and cleaning the inside of the rails, somewhere where the vacuum cleaner can't reach here under the rail here. So I just go through the, the I go through the entire table around like this. And I use this vacuum cleaner head to vacuum clean this beside the rail like that. Because the big big vacuum cleaner head did not reach the, the sides here. And this this uh, wet paper towel will clean under the rails as well, where this brush can't reach. So there you go, and there's dirt on, on the on the wet paper towel, which means that it worked. I cleaned off dirt under the rail. And I have, I have already cleaned inside the pockets themselves with the wet paper towel, so that's very really nice. Yeah, and also you can also uh, clean here at the, at the cloth as well, not, not only under the rail, on the cloth here, on the cloth under the rail as well, you press down like that. And you go around the table. There you go, now it is completed. And I use the brush, the vacuum cleaner head, I, I brush the top, top side of the rails as well. And you can also use the wet paper towel to clean the top of the rails, but I, I don't like to do that. I don't, I don't have any use for cleaning the top side of the rail because that doesn't affect the playing at all. Okay, it doesn't affect the playing. So I want to clean something that will affect the playing, the cloth. Most important to clean the cloth, the rails, the inside of the pocket. This, this part is not important to clean. But I still clean the, the dust off with the vacuum cleaner. I don't need to clean more with, with the, the wet paper towel. But many, many, many pool hall owners, they clean uh, with, with a damp cloth the rails because people are touching. It is not hygienic if people are touching the rails so much. So many, many, many different people are uh, touching the rails. So that is why they clean with a towel as well, but I don't need to do that because I'm uh, by myself anyway. I play uh, by myself. So let's start. It was a long time since I played the 10 ball. Very slippery balls now. Oof. So slippery and the, the cloth is very clean. It rolls very nicely now on the new cloth. Very smooth. Ah, very, I, I can feel it. It is very, very dry and clean. Very nice. Very nice. So this is going to affect my game a lot with when playing on a new, very clean cloth. So after you have vacuum cleaned the cloth, it will feel similar to a brand new cloth. Okay, very similar. And with the clean balls, you get the added effect that is. Everything is going to behave behave very strange. I will just make something easy here. Move, move the nine out of the way. Make it make it easy to put put the four in front of the pocket like that. Now everything seems to be okay. Start start uh, the run out. Yeah, I can feel I can feel. Oof, so far it rolled. Yeah. It rolled quite far. The ball, the ball doesn't stop suddenly. It keeps on rolling a little bit here. Very nice. Now comes a tough shot. I might, might miss Q because the ball is so clean. There you go. 
that, that went very nicely. Now I need to reach the shaft, so it's getting tough. I need to go around it like that, but the second, second rail will not grip so good, so I think it's going to be come up somewhere here to have a cut shot on the, on the file because of that reason. Fall into the stroke. There you go, Cupo went this direction because the cloth is... Uh, I cleaned the rail. I cleaned the cue ball, so instead of gripping, instead of the cue ball gripping the rail, coming this way, it came that way because it, it was sliding on the rail. So that is something you need to think about after you have cleaned the balls and the table. But no problem, I can go back and forth, one rail, two rails, and now I need to shoot a little harder than normal because you don't get good grip from the rails, so it will just slow down, the cue ball will slow down on the rails. So I need to shoot a little harder than I normally would. And I missed it because I had to shoot harder, I missed a shot. That is, that is, uh, that is the bad, bad thing with, uh, with certain shafts. There you go, you see that it slowed down a lot on, on the second rail. I will continue, left-handed draw shot. Yeah, that was a, like a stop shot. That was like a stop shot normally, but with the clean cue ball it drew back very far. Now I'm so here when the game is over. Game over. Yeah. I will just make a, a kick shot and with the clean, uh, clean cue ball, clean rails, it will not grip, it will not grip and get, go in this, this angle, it will just go in a wider angle, something like, like that. So you need, you need to compensate for that by using more left spin. More left spin. Like that, compensate. Ooh, that, I hit the ball, nice. There you go. This is a very in, in, informative video here. What happens with the dirty, with clean balls? How 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 you will need to and adapt to a new environment? Right spin. Oh, it did not grip there. It went too high up. I used a lot of right spin, inside spin. It did not grip on the rail. Okay. Normally it would have just come this way for for the eight, but now it didn't grip. It did not grip. It went too high up, I don't have a shot. Okay. So you need, you need to really think about what is happening with the clean, and in a clean environment. I don't have a shot, I lose the game. Okay, only because I, 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 had, I had cleaned the table and the balls, I lose the game. Okay, you need, you need to really comp compensate. You need, you need to compensate for, for, uh, for everything you do. You need to think about that, and that is the toughest, tough, toughest thing when you, if, if you become a pro, you need to adapt to different tables very quickly. And because I did not do that, I lost the game. Okay? It is that easy. You lose the game. What will I do now? I need to go around the table here. And no, normally, normally uh, with the dirty balls, normal table, you can go around the table like that. One rail, two rails, three rails, four rails, five rails. But because of the clean cue ball, it will not grip. It will not grip the rail here. It, it will just end up hitting the rail there and then diving down to that side of the nine instead. Because, because of that reason. So I, I'm in trouble here. I can't do, I can't do much with this shot. I can't do much at all. So I, oh no, we with this uh, clean, clean table and clean balls. I need to go to the other side of the nine and start the cube somewhere here. Okay. So I need to change my plan because because of uh, that reason. Uh, oh, now I hit it very close to there. Very nice. And that was, oh yeah. So I hit I hit way too close to the corner here to the pocket. Way too close. I was, 
I was going towards uh, getting a very good shot here. But that doesn't really... I did not want to go get so close to this, this pocket. I want to hit the rail there, avoid the scratch, and then I will, I will go too far down with the keyboard there. I will show it again. I will show it again. There you go, there, that's where I want to hit. And now because it didn't grip, it went too far down here. So there's no chance of the cuboid going uh, this way to the other side of the knife. And I'm going to do it again. I shoot harder this time. Now I went a little too close to the, co to the corner than I, than I wanted. And you see that, uh, yeah, I hit that too, too soft again. And like I said, the, the speed will really wear off the cuboid when hitting the rail. So you need to hit harder because of that reason. And if, if this was a dirty table, dirty balls, it would have gripped very easily and the cuboid would have ended up somewhere here, okay? If I use the same speed. So because everything is so clean, I need to shoot harder. And now I missed the shot because I have to shoot harder. Whenever you shoot harder, you, you reduce accuracy. If you use harder, I miss every, every time now because I, I hit just a little bit harder and I miss every time. Okay? That is uh, what happens with your accuracy. There you go, now it went just a little bit. It's, it's a little bit harder, you see here. There we go, now, now the keyboard ended up there. I will do it again, get some more balls ready for the next shots. This, this, this is a good shot, you can practice, you can get better at it very quickly. Low right spin. There you go, that seems to be good. And you see there, because the, because the cuboid is clean and everything is clean, it hit the nine instead of going instead of going this way. This is how it it, it will go with the dirty balls. I will do that again. Come and say with the dirty balls. That is what will happen with the position play if you play the same the same shot. But because you can't do that with the clean cue ball, you need to end up on the other side of the knife. I will play position for that. With speed there. That is very nice. That is how you should play that shot with the clean cue ball. Because you can't go one, one, Two, three, four, five rails. You can't do that with the clean cue ball. It is impossible. I will do it again. On the other side of the nine. Very nice. That is a shot you want to do. Okay, it took a long time for me to uh, finally master that shot. I can do it consistently now. Let's try it again. And I miss the shot. I need to chop the cue. I have to chop the cue also. Let's do it again. Whoops, I missed on the opposite opposite side of the pocket that time because I overcompensated. That happens often if you overcompensate in your next shot. And that seems to be pretty close to the corner, but yeah, okay. There you go. So that is a shot you want to do. On the on the other side of the nine ball you want to play position four. With the clean ball. I will do it again here. Same shot again. 
And I, I miss the shots here. This is, this is not so easy shot. Ooh, I wrestled. That was, the ball is starting to get dirty. Because I'm playing the same shot over and over again with the four ball. So the four is starting, starting to get dirty. So it is start, starting to rattle in the corner. In the beginning, when the ball is very clean, it will slide in very easily. But now, because I made the same shot over and over again, it is starting, starting to get dirty. So it will grip in, in the corner more easily than before. That is okay, it was soft maybe, but yeah, it will reach. That's very nice. There you go. That's very nice. And now I will attempt to go uh, one, two, three, four, five rails. I will attempt for that. And you can see that it is not possible. Let me do that. Yeah. Close, close to the corner here. Hit the rail there, there. It's a very tough shot, a very risky shot. You, you might scratch in the corner here, a very risky shot. Yeah, and I missed it. I will do it again. You just do it until you succeed. There, I went close to the corner. Let's see if I can. Nope, I'm, I'm going too close to the line there, you see. So it is not possible to to, to make that shot with uh, clean with clean with a clean cue ball. So you must go to the other side of the line. That is the only way you can uh, play this shot. Uh, yeah. yeah this is the shot. Let's do it again. And you can't really make, 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 the, make the 8 in the side because you will hit the 10. It, it becomes uncontrollable. You must go around the table, like I'm doing now. And I miss it. Oh, I'm starting to miss. Starting to miss this shot. There you go. That's a bit soft, but it will reach. I play with speed there. Very nice. That's that's very nice position there. I will do it again. Chop the cue. There you go. Ah, I think I have learned now. There you go. That is the shot you want to play. That is the shot with the clean cue ball. That's a perfect position shot there. And here, the next shot is, uh, uh, many players just go straight up here, but with the clean cue ball, you're going to end up coming too short. Because normally the cue ball will go here, but because the cue ball will, will not grip, it will lose speed from the rail, it will come up too short. And I see many times it happens to many people. Comes up. Comes up too short. That's always what happens with, with the clean cue ball when it hits the rail. So you need to compensate for that. Either you compensate or you go around the around the corner here with two rails. So with the clean ball, you might want to go two rails. And I missed the shot. I hit the wall behind me. Two rails. Uh, yeah, I hit it way too thin, you see, way too thin, that is what happens with the clean cue ball. You overcut everything, you overcut everything with the clean, clean cue ball. So you need to hit a hit little thicker. I, hit a, I, I, I aimed to hit it too thick, it went straight in the pocket. So, I, I will do it again. And it's a very tough shot with, with speed control because with the clean ball you are not used to it, you don't know what will happen. You, you end up coming too short. 
So this is a very, very tough shot if you haven't got used to the, to the table. And uh, you might want to end up playing position close to the rail here, into a very big area here. So I'm going to use top. Uh, I'm going to use pure right spin, just a, just a one tip of right spin. Come up somewhere here in this area. Perfect. There you go. Because if I came too far, I, I would have a shot on the ten. If I come too short, I have a shot. Into this big area is a very good play. Very good, good place to uh, play position play. And if you attempt to get too too close, you might end up not having a good shot on the 10. Uh, I will show you because with the clean cue ball it will, it will behave very strangely when hitting the rail. So you must end up coming too close to the 10. And I'm going to show you. Like that, you end up... There you go, that is where you want to... That is where you don't want to end up. And that happens often if you, if you switch into a new table that you don't know about. You end up like this, you lose the game. Much better to play position very far, very far away. And I will show it again. Play position, play somewhere in this area here. Okay. There you go. Play position close to the rail here. That is perfect. Because uh, everyone has a good chance of making the 10 from over here. But if the cue ball is over here, nobody can make it. Okay, nobody can make this shot. Much better that the keyboard is somewhere here, even frozen to the rail. Much easier to make it from here than to make it from there. Or even from here. This is a very tough shot, you need to bank the shot. Otherwise, you, you scratch in the corner if you have to make a, make a cut shot. You scratch, scratch in the corner. So it, it's much better to play position far away from, from, the, from the tempo. Just to be certain that you are not going to get stuck together with it, okay? That was a long video, long video to, long video to demonstrate what happens with a clean, clean table, clean rails, clean balls, everything is clean. And you need to really uh, change your playing style a lot because of that reason. You, you can no longer grip, you can no longer grip the rails with side spin. Forget about it. You need to change uh, your position play completely, and uh, because you are not used to, to the to the table conditions, you need to play position further away from the next ball. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Until next time, goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.